Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video, we are going to be going over how to add hit indicators above an enemy or even use them for health. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. So how I have the room set up here is we have a little scarecrow here and you can download them in the description below. But basically when we click him, he just does a squish and squash kind of thing. Then we want the hit indicators to come up here above. So the easiest way to do this is to create a font and we will use the draw text to do it. We could do it with a sprite, but we'll run into some performance issues with that. So let's go ahead and let's create a new font. We'll make sure that we give it a name. And the one thing to remember when we're choosing a font is to make sure if you're gonna sell this commercially that you have the proper license to do so. I'm gonna be using one of my favorite fonts, which is Junk Dog, and I'm gonna get rid of the ranges here. I'll also increase my size to say something like 16, and now I need to add a new range. I wanna make sure I add all the digits, and then I'll add the number sign, sorry, the negative and positive signs. I'll add the range, and then I'll hit regenerate, and when I go to game preview, you can see this is what it's going to look like. So with the font out of the way, let's open up one of our objects. Let's open up the scarecrow, and right away, we're in the left press event. You can see that I have a whole bunch of to-dos here. We need to create the hit indicator, you can see we've been put in the left press event and you can see that I have a whole bunch of do to do's here. We need to create the indicator, assign the amount to that indicator and then change the colors. So to create the hit indicator, this is a simple thing. We've done it many times. All we're doing is creating a new instance and storing it in a variable. The only thing we really need to do is make sure that we're using the depth of the scarecrow minus one, which will put it on top of the scarecrow. Now to assign the actual amount, if we take a look at the object hit indicator and I go over to the variable definition, so you can see that we have an amount here. So that means that we can just take that particular instance and we can say amount and let's say equals a I random range between negative 999 and then 999. Now we will get to changing the colors in one second here. If we go over to the hit indicator, a lot of these things are already filled in. Let's just quickly go over them. We're setting some defaults for the image X scale and Y scale. We're having some vertical movement so it moves upwards. We're setting a color to C white, and then we have a couple helper functions, which were just scale the image back to the original size and then change the alpha. If we go over to the draw event, this is where we're going to be doing our draw text. Now, for example, if I just say draw text and I pass in the X and Y position, and then I will pass in the string of amount. If I were to do something like this, we're not using the font that we associate it with this. And you can also see that everything is left aligned. So let's actually get to work here. Now I've created a few different scripts here. If we check out some of the scripts, we have draw set. And all we're doing is we're combining a whole bunch of draw set commands. We have the alpha color and then horizontal and vertical align. So if we come back up here, we could easily just say draw underscore set. Let's pass in the alpha for image alpha. We'll pass in the color, which is C color. And that's a variable that we created. And then we want something like FA center, which will center our font. Now, speaking about font, we need to actually use this particular font here. So we will just say draw underscore set font and pass in that font indicator. Now, if we run this, this is gonna work, but we're gonna have a few problems. If I click, you can see that it's working fine. However, what may happen is some of the variables aren't being reset, such as the draw set alpha, which is here, and the draw color. So we want to make sure that everything gets reset. So we have another handy dandy function called draw reset. And all this function does is reset the alpha to one and the color to white. So with that little bit of code, if I hit F5, everything's going to be reset. It's going to be in the center and you can see my font is working just the way it should. Now, the only thing I want to do is if it's a negative number, I want to color that red. And if it's a positive number, I want to color that green. Back inside the hit indicator in the create event, we have an area for helpers here. And you can see that we're updating the colors. If the amount is less than zero, we'll set that C color variable to red. Otherwise, the C color will be green and it'll have a positive sign on it. So in order to actually call this, what we'll do is go into the scarecrow. We'll go into the left pressed event. And then once we create this instance, we set the amount and then all we have to say is instance dot update colors and that will update the colors and we'll call that function for us. So if I hit the game and I run it again, you can see that it was negative. So it's a red one. And when we get a positive, you can see that it is green. So that's how you can do hit indicators in Game Maker Studio. Hi everyone, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. Please leave a like and any questions you have, leave in the comment section below. A special shout out to the following users in no particular order. Darth Wolf, 
Timothy, Angel, Victor, Edward, Ashby, Paul, Corey, Yato, ETC, Ian, and Alex, Annie, and Robert. Once again, thank you all so much, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks again.